All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Draco Thubin. Let's play something. Let's play the dig. Okay, so we're down in the crypt thingy here. My headphones are up way too loud. Some bones. Check out the bones. Okay, earthquake. That's a life crystal. That doesn't look friendly. Um, yeah, back up, dude. Oh, now suddenly we've got guard dogs. Where did he come from, anyway? Uh, okay, so we got a creature thing. That wouldn't work with this creature. Okay, expert on alien creatures now. It won't do anything. Okay, I'm trying to move these around. Now let's make another guard dog. Look, it's the ugly twins. <laughs> That's awesome. That worked out rather well. Okay. So now let's see what we got up here. I can't get it open. Okay, we got a slot and a door. We've used pretty much everything in our inventory thus far except for this engraved rod here. evaporated when the engraving touched the slot. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck. The one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. Why is like all of a sudden this so surprising that the door disintegrated? I guess it's been going on the entire time, dude. Maggie, frog. I found something. It's far below the tomb, past some pretty ugly guards. A dead alien sealed inside a crystal pyramid. Sounds like they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. Must have been important to them. A king or something. Or it terrified them. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us, back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. Point taken. Let's see. I hate not having enough information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. Okay, um, there's a panel. Looks like a panel. Okay. Yeah. It's the remains of a huge creature. Probably that big gold thing that we came in by the, the, the statue. Let's bring it to life. What the hell? What the? He's very tall. Or I'm very short. I wish I didn't Ooh, keep thinking the of pictures. the term bite size. Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. Let's all be friends. 
Ah? Who are you? Ratso. You are Ratso, okay. Why were you so carefully protected? Laham Chiadnak Trestalum. Who are you? Ratso. Sure. I'm Boston Low, and I've got two crew members around here somewhere, and we're stuck here and we need help. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. We should do this again sometime. I'd better tell Maggie about this. Maggie. Come in, Maggie. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this. But well, take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. Oh, that's a big thing. What were you saying about... Oh, what are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Brink! Leave me! Maggie! Brink! Come in! Wherever you are, we need you! Something's happened to Maggie! Damn. Come on, Brink. I know you're crazy, but freaking we really need to help Maggie at this point. It's the only way we're getting off here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want you here. I don't Something care. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. Wait, what's this? Then go help her. What I'm doing here is important. Hey, if we felt that way about you, you'd still be dead. You're the tough guy, Lo. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities and let me do the science. Man. Such a freaking Richard. What do you think you are doing? I appreciate your apparent concern. Really, I'm fine. But please feel free to leave. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, let's go up here. Go, where can we go? What can we do? Ooh, bat creatures. Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. Ooh, that was a big one. Go away! Think you'll help me now? Aha, I'm taking your crystals, dude. <laughs> you thief! Give those back! I will, Brick. 
after you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? Back to crystals. If at first you don't succeed, what are you doing, dude? Like, uh, it still doesn't work. You're such an idiot. If at first you don't succeed, I, I was not. Bright light. Okay, we need to go to the map, right? The map spire. Or she was on the museum spire. Where was she? Okay, no, this isn't right. She was in the museum spire. Over here. She's gone. Not a trace. Not a sign of struggle. Nothing. Control console. If this is a library, then this must be where you search and retrieve data. The screens must be part of one large computer. Okay, well, there's nothing this way. Okay, we're. Frank. Maggie's in trouble. Then go help her. Maggie's in trouble. <gasps> I will miss Maggie a great deal. Maggie was on the brink of telling me what the inscriptions in the library meant. Do you understand what that means? Yes, you'll be able to borrow alien science fiction novels from the library and entertain yourself. You really don't care about anything but yourself, do you? No, he doesn't. I care about something much more important than all our paltry selves. Frank, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. Did you bring me here to chat, Commander Lowe? <sighs> Unless you have something pertinent... Never mind. Brink. Maggie's in trouble. Then go help her. Never mind. Of light that's just on the edge of existence. Brink. 
Never m I don't know where I'm going. Hold on a second, folks. Gotta figure this out. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Oh, that's a, that's a thing, and it's got her. Is that you? Are you all right? Oh. How can she be all right? She's bound up in that web. Dude, will you just shut up? Seriously. Okay. Drink. Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better, Frank. You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. Here, you phlegm, carapace, slime faced, mucus brain, furry legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Pulchritudinous. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I have just such an occasion. Polcritudinous. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna see if you guys can see this. Polcritudinous. Aha, there we go. Physically beautiful. Comely. Polcritudinous. There you go. No, oh, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. <laughs> Move your silly buttocks, you fool! I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Boston? Where are you going? I'm over here. Yeah, hush up. Don't leave me. Hush up. Did you, like... At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. I don't know how I get out of here. How do I? Oh, there we go. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. Brink. There's a grate down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? Dude, you, you got a better one? <laughs> Maggie. Okay. Can you no, get seriously. I am not 
Like, has anybody thought of the fact that if it does spout water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? You're That's strapped why you get the to big the wall. Balls. Do it then. Just do it. It's only my life anyway. Hey, we've got green gems we can bring you back. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. You cocoon eating lobster face, cave dwelling arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. Elementary. What is elementary? Hold on. Elementary. Concerned with the function of nutrition, nu nutritive, pertaining to food, providing sustenance or maintenance. Sure. How did you ever sneak up on her if you're freaking that slow? Now she's not attached to anything. Okay. Maggie, you made it. How's my hair? You're worried about your... It was a joke. I was joking, Boston. Oh you know, gosh. like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Brink, it's time for us to work together on... I said give them to me! Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. Dude, what the hell? He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library console seem to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they would need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting. Okay, interpret this. Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing, I don't know what, that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole, so that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah. But this one, even a woman is having a hard time with. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. Like here. It's shimmering. A light that doesn't seem real. As if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something. Something I saw earlier, or maybe I read it. Did you read it on this? Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? Did you just toss it to her? It wasn't clear to me before, but now I can see. I can see clearly now the rain is Boston, gone. Boston, it exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. I 
I just twist this? Whoa. Everything's so simple when that's, you read the directions. That's, that's new. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. It, it, it probably has. It just wasn't visible. But you know. Let's go inside. <laughs> Yay! What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. The last one. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. If you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. We'd better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. Why? He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. I know, dude. Like, why are you? Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. Yeah. An armed expedition. There's no guarantee we'll ever get. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. Yes, you can. Me, Boston. You Worse than the monster. Absolutely, can leave him. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter more dangerous we're smart too let's go okay so we gotta go whoa that was a powerful one commander low can you hear me Brink we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight. We're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny! Okay, arched. Dang, arched. Two. Robbins. No, we're not. Never mind. Oh, Arch Bridge. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Right there. You've just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brink. 
But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! I got some real sharp teeth. to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Brink. I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine, but I'll need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. We think it's gonna take us home. You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Brink? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? It's not research. Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? We agree, we have a deal. Agreed. All right, all right. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. Whatever, Handy. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? It's my opinion as a sane person. Okay, let's go in here. But, first, uh, I'm going to break this episode now. It's another episode into the books of Let's Play Something for the Dig. We're playing the Dig. If you're not following me yet, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, all the stuff. Okay, Draco Thubin. Search me up. I'm there. You get to see when I stream. And you get to watch my videos after I stream. So that's a win-win. Uh, if you got any suggestions for me, please message me. Leave them on the episode. Freaking do whatever. Whatever you got to do, man. Just just send me a twit, tweet, whatever the heck it's called. All that stuff. So I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to start another one in a second. I'm going to keep streaming. Uh, I don't have to work tonight. It's so awesome. Okay, so I'll be right back. I just need a refill. <laughs>